So we're here at the CS 2019, and who are you? Uh, I'm Atul John, I'm with uh, Cypress Semiconductor, and right now we've got two devices here. The device on the left that you see here is it's a, a ring. It's a ring, and it's a pretty it's a unique ring. We've got the uh, uh, we've got the uh, PSOC 6 uh, MCU in here. So There's an ARM Cortex M4 in there. Yeah, uh huh. And it's got a very long battery life because it's got ultra low power capabilities. And the Prince of uh, England is, is wearing it, right? Yes, he is. He's a big customer of ours. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, John? Or I, th I think it's Harry or something. Harry, yeah. <laughs> I'm then, joking, everybody knows. And then you are in the Android Wear of the yeah, Casio? So, so in the Android Wear, two, we've got two of our devices in here. One is the uh, PSOC 6 as a host as a co-processor, which is used for uh, low-power devices. So when you put it into low-power mode, we can get at least one week of battery life. Like this one, right? Like this one. This so right now, right now it's running in low-power mode. So see, it's all black and white. You can get like about six to seven days of battery life with this. So right now, it's, uh, this mode is a, running on a microcontroller only. Yeah. So this, and this one jumps over to a Qualcomm chipset to do the Android? Yeah, or? we don't know what chipset is there yeah. for the host processor, but this is definitely running us right now. I guess it's, it looks like a memory LCD, I don't know, is it not? Uh, it looks like a memory LCD, yeah. But, but it does, so it's this is a, it, it's a full it, it's, it's a full LCD here. So maybe if you tilt it, you can see that a little bit. You can see that it's not the actual display. It's it's almost like an e-ink kind of thing going on there. Okay, that's very strange. Yeah, very interesting. So we got one more device inside here. It's the 4340W, which is a Bluetooth plus Wi-Fi combo module. That's part of our connectivity solutions. So you oh. can see that uh, all these chipsets are very small. Very small chipsets. So you can see that Cypress is in everywhere. We are in the PSOC. We are in capacitive sensing. We are in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So you can see that Cypress is everywhere. And here's some other demos right here. You and the Amazon Alexa speaker. Yes, yeah, so this is the Amazon Alexa speaker. Which chipset do you have there? So th this is um, probably the uh, 4340W as well. It's the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module that's in here. Uh, the latest Amazon uh, show devices has our latest 43569 uh, 11AC uh, chipset. This is also a Wi-Fi BT uh, combo. And, and you then, have some in there too? Yeah, so in, in the Arlo, the latest Arlo devices, we have the... Uh, for the over to low, ultra low power Wi-Fi module, yeah, and um, we have the touch control in here. We have a touch uh, capacitive sensing in here. So, so you, you have very strong. Are you very good in, in Wi-Fi Bluetooth? Uh huh. We we've got strong Wi-Fi Bluetooth and capacitive sensing uh, capabilities. So as you see, as you see, in, even in this, we've got the capacitive sensing yeah. going on here. We've got uh, PSOC um, MC going on in here. So it's not just uh, co connectivity. We even give you the processor for doing all your hot stuff. And here at the show, you, you're launching something to do with Wi-Fi 6? So we are launching Wi-Fi 6 today. Where do you show it? So is it a real chip or is it... So it's a real chip that's actually running, in, running right now. Yeah, can you come up? Where, yeah. where is it so around? This is, this is called the 89650. Uh, a two cross two 11x yeah. Wi-Fi. That one there. Set. This one, this red one right here. So you can see it's a two cross two MIMO, and we've got. So what we've got running here is a soft AP and a state demo. We've got the client connected to our soft AP, and then we are running iPuff between the between the devices. So if you come here, you can see that the the peak throughput is over a gigabit. So we are we're giving you almost Ethernet speeds using wireless technology. So this is uh, the 802.11 AX, yeah, which is a gigabit Wi-Fi. Which is gigabit Wi-Fi. It so, can even do more than gigabit? So no, uh, the Wi-Fi capability is 1.2 gigabits. And then if you are negating all the overhead from TCP and UDP, yeah. you get an effective uh, throughput about a gigabit. So that's what we're showing here. So uh, this, what is this board and everything that it's so connected this, to? So this is basically like your PC. Close to yeah. Yeah. So this is basically just your PC, uh, a regular bricks machine. Yeah. You can you can search online. You can find it. Uh, what we are going providing is a module here, which is uh, which connects to your PCIe, and you connect your Wi-Fi uh, through here. So this Wi-Fi 6 is going to go in what kind of device? It can go into any of your mobile All devices. This we saw here. It can go into the s smart speakers. It can go into your uh, Nintendo devices. It can go into your phones. So the the capability for Wi-Fi 6 is everywhere. But uh, is this this, this that, one? That is the actual chip. Can you hold one second? So uh, this chip looks big, right? What, what's what's running in here? Is there an ARM core? Yeah, it's it's an ARM uh, core M7. Uh, so same as PSOC 6 or no? Uh, PSOC 6 is M4. This is M7 running in there. So you got an ARM Cortex M7 in there? Yeah. So it's a so it's a special technology called RSDB, uh, where you have 
both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz running simultaneously. This can actually, this actually pops out. So mm -hmm. the black thing you see there, that's the actual chip. So the can it fit in a smartphone up on them? Like the no, Wi-Fi no. chips in smartphones it's, 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 are, are so, smaller than this, right? So th that's the whole module in there. The chipset is actually a lot smaller than this. It'll probably occupy probably like one, yeah. a, a very little space in, in that uh, black module that you see. So no problem to put in a smartphone. It, it, this, this, this should ideally ship into a smartphone or a, or a gaming device kind of uh, use case. So in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, kind of market, you have competitors like Qualcomm, uh -huh. uh, lots of competitors, right? Yeah. How big is your, how strong are you in this market? So we are really strong in the automotive market, like out of the top, uh, we are in the top uh, tier of all the marketing, uh, automotive market. Uh, if you talk to our uh, press guys, you can definitely, so we have one of our chips sets inside this. So this yeah. is. Uh, Let's go close. Can we go sure close a little bit? Yeah. Uh, so uh, can you try to explain uh, what's going on here? Yeah. Can you try to come close and yeah, explain? Sure. So this is actually our CEO's uh, Mustang and he uh, decked it out it for it, uh, a lot of technology and it's got our Wi-Fi chipset in, in there. It's a 4340W uh, Bluetooth Wi-Fi combo. Unfortunately, you cannot see, go inside and see what's going on there. So it's got a host of things. It's got the USB-C, it's got PSOC running in there, it's got a NOR flash running in there. So this car is basically a culmination of all that Cypress has to provide in, in the automotive industry. You call it the Manticore. It's called the Manticore, yeah. Uh, so it's a 1970s car, right? Uh-huh. And he uh, modified it so that he can put all this technology into it. It's got a fingerprint sensor that senses his fingerprint and it only starts up when he starts. He gets into the car. That's cool. That's cool, right? Yeah. Uh, how about here? Uh, what are you showing in this? What is this demo? So here we've got the uh, BLE mesh demo going on. And this is an actual product. So if you can zoom in here. Yeah. It's, this, is the, uh, this is the actual light bulb. Yeah. So this product is uh, by Silva Silvania. Uh, it's called uh, Leadvans. The company name is Leadvans, and uh, the the product is Silvania. Okay. And um, what this what this does is a BLE mesh setup. So in your in, normally in your systems, you need to be close to a certain device to be able to communicate with it. So w what BLE mesh does for you is that those devices talk between each other so that you can extend your range. Nice. So in a BLE mesh system, you can have up to 255 devices. So if you have a large warehouse and you arrange all of them in one direction, you can be at one end of the, the, the setup and you can communicate to the last node, the 255th node, even though it's very far away. Let's say you have 10 hops in a mesh, right? Yeah. How long is going to be the, dead, the delay between clicking on the switch and it happening? It's almost interesting. It's like so you, if the, you, even there's hops, it's it, fine. It, it doesn't matter because it finds the best route to get to that. So it doesn't have to go through every hop to get to the last one. It could probably skip a few hops if it's able to see that yeah, there's nice. another device close by. So the demo means that one one base station, what do you call it, can do yeah. the whole house? Can do the whole house, yeah. So where will you position the base station? So you don't need a base station, you just need your phone. Okay. So your phone is a controller that sends commands to all the devices. So right now if you don't turn off, it turns off the whole thing. And you can, you can see that it's not it's not happening all together because we're sending the commands through the mesh and it hops the message across uh, devices. You can change the color of the uh, of the bulbs. You can change the intensity. You can make it dimmer and brighter. Nice. So yeah, that's our BLE mesh uh, demo. Nice. And uh, what are you showing over here? Yeah, I think uh, yeah. he'll have to take it it's over. It's a little too. busy. Yeah. But uh, there are some uh, some other solutions. So this is our M yeah. this is our uh, development kit by Murata. Mm -hmm. It's called the uh, Embedded Artist. So this is our Wi-Fi module, and we've got an X NXP uh, main processor going on here. So if you have like a, a Linux-based uh, solution. You can use this to incorporate Wi-Fi into your uh, into your system. So, were you talking about Bluetooth or Wi-Fi mesh? Uh, this is like Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth combo. So, let's say you have a, a smart uh, you have a smartphone, you have a processor, and you have the uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi combo that goes into it. So, this kind of gives you like a development kit to do all your uh, software 
uh, demo. But is it this demo or is no, not? it's not. Some, something else. And this is also the same there? It, it's, it's just different. Uh, Different factors and different uh, processes that go on. Nice. And there's another one right here, yeah. environment, visual active. So, yeah, it has, uh, so this is the uh, CYW20719 Bluetooth module. Yeah. Uh, also with a memory LCD, looks like, maybe. Uh, uh, battery life. Yeah, we, 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 we are not yeah. in the uh, uh, touch for that one. All right. Uh, yeah, so here you can see that this uh, our modules come in a wi wide variety of, uh, 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 of uh, connectors. So this is a mini PCIe. Uh, and here we've got the HDIO connectors. So it's quite easy to uh, get everything set up and uh, start uh, development. Nice. And around there is something to do with the audio, yeah, because uh, you have some P sucks for. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, so, uh, CES is a show where you have news, you have uh -huh. new products sometimes. Yeah, so Wi Fi 6, we are uh, officially announcing it here this year. Uh, even uh, a lot of other customers uh, are interested in our uh, automotive uh, solution for the 11AX. We're pretty sure that 11AX is going to be pretty big the, all of next year when it get, gets into mass, uh, mass adoption.